And this is actually a dungeon I've done before, so I can kind of do this, though I am a bit rusty since I haven't done this in a while. But I'm pretty sure we should be able to just own. And yes, I actually do click my lower bar. I need to get a new mouse for gaming. But and normally you draw them around the corners to not attract more attention from the other guys, but I'm just not worried about it right now. Oh, we got a dog. I am stunned. I have auto loot on, so I just click on them and that's all. It's a good group. They're letting their tank gather people, which is nice. Seriously, I'm human. Don't stun me. You can hear my dogs in the background playing. Having their own little epic battle. Die. I really don't care. The stuff's so far below what I need. I really enjoy being a tank because, you know, if you're a tank, then, you know, you kind of get to be up there and you don't have to pay attention to what other people are doing so much. <laughs> it's kind of bad, but I am just not a good healer. I've tried to play healer a couple of times. I get really bored. I try and play DPS. I get bored. So, yeah. These guys are going to have a long conversation with themselves and we're going to take on each group. You can tell I've done this dungeon a few times. And that's kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about how these, at this point to get any further, it just, it takes a long time of doing the same thing over and over. Now this is random who's going to come. It looks like this green guy up here. So we're just going to attack him. And usually you get on here and you play with your friends. So that's kind of why I have my game volume down so low. So you can hear everybody. I really like Mumble for that. Um, I know there are some other um, free to talk um Places that you can get online. Mumble seems like there's always somewhere that you can um, get into. So I like that. You just have to be able to chat with each other and go, hey, go to this different place and tell them the different sign in. Which is a little tedious, but it's doable. It has been months since I have played this. So Mr. Blue, how about a party? It's really intimidating when all their forces run at you, but then it's like, yeah, I just have to fight this one guy. But yeah, we have some pretty cool stuff. There we go. This guy's going to steal stuff and run away. However... And this can be tricky because you don't always know where these things are hidden. Now, I will say I love World of Warcraft because how bright and colorful it is. Some people tend to get annoyed and say that it's cartoony and they really don't like that. I love it. I grew up with cartoons. I mean, it's just, you know, you are playing a video game. I enjoy it. But I know a lot of Guild Wars people who absolutely hate But I like it. I grew up with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so this is gorgeous compared to that. And there's so much more to do in these games than just do dungeons. But like I said, it feels like once you get to this level, you can either start a new character and do all the things you've already done before, or 
you just do these dungeons over and over and over until you get that one piece of gear that you desperately need to move on and then you're to the next dungeon that you need to do over and over and over until you get that one piece of gear that you desperately need. Seriously, that should have got me. Okay. And I happen to be a little bit of the uh, ADD generation where if I've done something five times, I really don't need to do it again. Whereas I can spend hours and hours in the woods, you know, looking for flowers. <laughs> And just because I'm going to say goodbye to WoW for a little bit does not mean that I will forever be off of WoW. I am going to hand the guild over to um, some friends of ours who have done great things for the guild and are good friends of ours and actually are going to be visiting us sometime next year. So, I mean, it's, you know, you create friendships, you create family when you play this game the way that you know, it's kind of meant to be played. And I enjoy that. I enjoy having the real camaraderie and all of that. And, and, you know, you have to love the stories of people who met on WoW and, you know, they played forever and then they ended up getting married because, you know, they just, they have the same interests. Who doesn't love that? And I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of people say, that if you value your marriage, do not play World of Warcraft together. And I think that's trash. I mean, if you have a good marriage and you guys can communicate, I think it is a awesome thing to do. I mean, it takes a lot of communication. It really does. But as long as you guys are talking back and forth, you're on it. And it is a relationship building exercise. Honey, why did you let me die? Well, you have to not charge into a million people. Okay, yeah, that was kind of my fault. I've had that conversation a few times. I am kind of notorious for Leroy Jenkinsing. See, they marked the guy that we're supposed to go for first with the skull. And this is me, Leroy Jenkinsing. You tend to go for the healers. They're kind of the ones you go for. Because I am a tank, I just kind of pay attention to the one guy that's marked, try and get aggro, but really, most important thing is to just kill this guy. And I am stunned. Forgot how much they do that here. I'm kind of sucking a bit because, like I said, I have not played this in so very long. And I guarantee, I absolutely guarantee, there are people who are watching this video and are going, why is she doing that? Use this, use this. And, and I'm not like, like I said, I, I've kind of stopped playing this. So I'm not doing the things necessarily I should be doing, but there are bonuses if I get him turned around so they can attack his back. So I tend to, um, go up here and kind of corner myself actually, if I can. I did not get aggro. The problem with my husband being so far ahead of me is he does tend to pull aggro away. But I mean, if you are tanking, you have to have better gear than I do. That's kind of World of Warcraft, and I hope this video works out. I hope the audio works out for this. And, oh, the last thing that I was going to say is that since we did, both my husband and I get invited to the beta, I do have an extra beta code. If you subscribe and share this video, I will randomly give out that code. So please like, subscribe, and share this. Thanks.